Jay Z had a whole big speech. He goes in on the Grammys and uh, he said that Beyonce deserves album of the year. And he said it wasn't right that she did not get album of the year. Beyonce has 33 Grammys, I believe, and they are billionaires. Um, and for the life of me, I don't understand why we as black people continuously feel the need to get acceptance from others when in 2024 we can build our own. I don't even see the purpose of going. Like, to me, it's like we have the BET Awards, okay? which no big artists, we don't even respect those awards. Most big artists don't show up. We don't care. But we place all of this value on another person's opinion, on another per how another person feels. Why do we place so much value? Why did Jay-Z place so much value? It hurt me to see a billionaire to see a billionaire, one of the richest black people on the face of the earth. It, it, it pained me to watch him seek acceptance from what I saw. And then you drink out of the awards when it would, it would have been better to me just not to go just how y'all do the BET awards, which is not owned by black people either, by the way. But Jay-Z and Beyonce and all these artists are so big. It's like, start your own award, bro. Like, nobody's stopping that. Nobody's stopping that. Me as a comedian in my career, I'm not seeking acceptance from nobody, right? I'm just trying to sit here, build my own table, mind my goddamn business, and literally stay out of the way. I'm not trying to get up on no nigga. I'm not trying to do none of that shit. Like... I have to thug my way through and cut my path out myself. And it's cool. There are people that don't find me funny. There are people that find me to be annoying. And that's okay. That is their opinion. But I don't care. I'm going to keep trudging along. And I'm going to complete this assignment that God has put me on. But I'm not going to sit here and complain and ask you to like me, especially after I have been. And, and the saddest part about this is Beyonce has nothing to do with this. I believe Beyonce could care less about uh, receiving album of the year after having 33 Grammys. She has all the Grammy. Like, what do you like? It, this is a, just an opinion. It's just an opinion. What is it about human nature and list? And if you are omitted from a list, what drives us? Why are you seeking the validation of other people? And especially for groups outside of our group. Why? Why? And I have to bang my head against sheetrock with seeing this. I'm watching the billions of dollars pour out of Jay-Z's mouth as he pours the douce into the award. And it's like, bro, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Uh, and another thing that I think is happening too, you get this outrage. You get outrage. And I think like we're in a time now where I know we talk about racism and racism does exist. But what we don't address is classism. Classism is taking precedent over racism. Okay, rich people, no matter the color, they all come together behind that curtain. They all best friends. They're all talking about their boats, their yachts. They're, they're talking about their exotic vacations and buying all the tickets to the Super Bowl. But I think what happens in our community, we get those elitist blacks who are way up on top of the mountain and they need to somehow send out a cry or some type of plea to make us all believe that they are common, that we all share this thing in common. And we don't, we don't say sh share shit in common, nothing. You, you on another planet, I'm here, right? When you walk into those robes, they see you, it's what it is. 
and they're going to welcome you. You're a billionaire. You're bringing lots of value to the marketplace. And the color green a lot of times surpasses all of that. And I see through this, and I talk about it often, and I'm often called a coon and this, that, whatever, but that's what it is. So I really looked at that, and it was like, bro, get the fuck out of here. I can't shed a tear for a billionaire. It's very hard to cry for a billionaire. If a billionaire cries out, it's hard. It's hard. Like knowing this person as a, a thousand, he has one thousand million dollars. Okay. If you go up the ladder to the ranks of Bezos and Elon Musk, they're sitting on two hundred and thirty million dollars. Okay, like for instance, the the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, the biggest table at the Super Bowl is a million dollars. They got a million dollar section for you to sit behind the uh the goalpost for the Super Bowl. That section is one million dollars. Jeff Bezos is worth two hundred and thirty billion dollars. That would be the equivalent of you having two hundred thirty thousand in cash in the bank. And that section costing $1. That is how vast and how big this wealth is. So it's very difficult for me to have this, uh, to, to be sad or to, or to feel some kind of way. But I would say to the brother Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce, and everybody in the industry, pull those resources together and let's do our own thing, our own Grammy night. And you even judge and rate white people as well, because white people have never not once in the history of time got cried, hauled, or complained about not even a BET award or a Soul Train Music Award. I have yet to see that. I have yet to see it. And don't sit here and tell me, well, they got this, Arisha. I don't want to hear that shit. They don't cry. Why are we crying? It is. It, it, it hurts me. Um... So yeah, that that's really what I had to say. Uh, 